Hey guys, it's Mary here and welcome back to my channel for another episode of The Sims 2. For another episode of Life is Strange. <laughs> so this is episode 3, Chaos Theory. And in a previous episode, Chloe and Max went uh, to sneak out to find out more information about where Rachel is. And also more information about um kate and what's going on with kate and if they can get proof and everything like that so that's basically it and they almost got caught so it was very intense very very intense and it was pretty cool so yeah let's get going because we're basically just keep going from where we left off I'm gonna be out here filing my nails and things because my nail chipped right now and it's not nice. I love the graphics in this game, I really really do, like it's amazing, whoever like designs this and animates or everything like that, you all are the real MVP because I could never, I can't even do a green screen properly in Sony Always Vegas. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb! Photo hog. I love Polaroids, I really wish I can get one. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch, Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. I wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Me AF. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Did you even bring clothes or is that the same clothes you wore yesterday? Okay, Warren. Oh, oh crap. We need to see Warren soon. I thought Chloe might put up a pic of me instead. Holy shit balls. Frank is scary. I should have let Chloe take that money. Oh God. Frank is a whole bitch. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, Shit store. Chloe doesn't seem too upset she didn't take that money from me. I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? Yes, but sadly we're not kids anymore. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. So, you never really told me if you had a serious boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I look stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. 
I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. That's why I was so glad Rachel came along to rescue me. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Smart, sexy, and sassy. Like me, right? Well, duh. Screaming. <laughs> maybe Rachel would have fought over both of us. You wish. Then again, maybe. You're a photographer and she wanted to be a model. Aww. All right, what's going on here? What's going on? see what's in there. I don't think I'll be moshing today. I didn't know Chloe wore makeup, but okay. I could have hid in the closet. I mean, David wouldn't be on my case. I forgot about the closet, you know. Damn. Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Is that a condom? Oh my god, it is. I'm screaming. Wow, sir. That was my 10th birthday. I didn't know Chloe kept this stuff. Well, clearly she must care about you. I love this song. I can't hear her, so that's cool. <laughs> oh, at least we haven't been identified. Yet. Mm. Thank God she's okay. I wonder when I can visit her. Alright. Chloe is so damn cute. She's really trying to suss out what my vision means. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my part. Time to put on your daily armor, Max. It must be hella disgusting. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. <laughs> Stop second guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? Mm -mm. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. I did anyway. <laughs> that was priceless when I kissed Chloe. I think Rachel's style is a little more subtle. Like me. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. I'm screaming. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to, uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? I'm absolutely screaming. The outfit is just a whole lot of mess. Oh my god. That smells so amazing. Okay. Oh, Kate's okay. It's like when we were kids here. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Mm. Ew. The 
Bara se ele não. Check out Mad Max. <laughs> Ready to fucking thrash. I'm so... You know, I haven't gone through a dying my hair blue phase yet. Maybe it's time. Feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine. And hiding. What's ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Why is it? Okay, whatever. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. This might be the one time these people are right. Joyce looks so different in her street clothes. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Ooh, pancakes, please. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Which? The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Wowza, Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Now for the mother's milk. Who drinks beer this early around here? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. What did I say? Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. But she hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in LA. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Wherever she is. Be honest, Joyce. Do you think Rachel is okay? God, I hope so. She was, is smart. And she always landed on her feet. Maybe I don't know her as well as I thought. Maybe Chloe doesn't either. Sometimes I feel like I don't know Chloe as well as I thought. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? 
<laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. I guess nobody waters the plant here. Thank you. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. I love crunchy peanut butter. It's amazing. Good. You can clean. Now that's what I call pancakes. I want pancakes now. Damn, I'm always hungry. I'm just literally just eating. Oh, I would love pancakes right now. Do I even have ingredients to even make pancakes? You know what? I might make it tomorrow. Nah, I'm at work tomorrow morning. Damn. See my life. Now that's what I call pancakes. I guess nobody waters the plant. Seeing you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. Keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Nothing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Nope. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty... I can even see the combination that might be a useful password. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop.
Okay, so it has to be somewhere. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Worst hacker ever. Okay, so. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? I could try the license number for the password. Try again. What the hell could it be? Because it's not family. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Maybe it's a deer's head, I don't even know, what's this? Obviously David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. There's a lot of things that could be a password, so... Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. So many passwords, so little time. All right. Let's see. Oh, shit balls. All right, let's try. This one. Magic eight ball says no. No way, Max. Go to the top. We have to rewind all the way back because this is gonna take a long, long time. All right. Let's see personal. Um. Nope. Score! Oh. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. <laughs> Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard.
I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. You want to yeah, go? I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. You used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. Mm -mm. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David, paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Screaming. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. No, oh, shut up, David. You can eat all my ass. You ain't shit. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Wow, that was madness. Loved it, lived for it. Is all mine, hairline flown, everything gone. Listen. When I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I That's can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. 
I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Can I write in the RV? Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. More nasty shit. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, the tornado? You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. Stay around, kid. Good morning. How are the fish? Don't ask. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, it's too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. What a bitch? Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. I don't give like a crap. I said, interview over. You're a real bitch. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. It Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers. Or real work. Oh, so you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those, you know, who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Embarrassing. I'm gonna get trolled hard. So ominous. Look at that. It's so sad and disturbing and beautiful at once. What an amazing shot. 
Mm-mm. It's a whole entire bird on this car. I'm screaming. I hate seeing old women on the street like that. Hi, how are you? Well, I'm homeless. Otherwise, yeah, fantastic. Who are you? Max. Can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. Kate Marsh. I was able to actually talk her down from the roof. That was you? Well, if I had a bottle, cheers. Thanks. Wish I had a bottle for you. But I need to find out who else is involved in this. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me. So I see everybody and everything. Including Nathan Prescott? That spoiled shit finally got kicked out of his daddy's school. He also drugged the girl who tried to jump. Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. Bitch. There's nothing to tell. If you don't want to share, you don't have to. I'm just an old homeless woman. Please let me know if you need anything. A warning. Once you decide to tell me what you know. Hmm. Interesting. Nope, nice. I don't want to go there. All right, fair enough. All right. Good Lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those. Never mind me, officer. I'm just. Are we meant to be going to, to with Warren? Drug dealer's keys. Uh. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Can't drop any tunes right now. Keys. I could chug this beer, or dump it on Frank. Frank Bauer stars in a face full of beer. Turn up the brain to 11, Max. How can you snag Frank's keys? You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. Guessing that's not the right choice then, is it? You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. 
In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackpool Academy. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Can I not talk to him again? There she is. Soup. Thanks, Al. I'm glad. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Hmm. What can I do for you, Max? Well... I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Or are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. <clears throat> hmm. Rachel! Uh, whatever the... Fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. <laughs> what the fuck now? What can I do for you, Max? I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Are you fucking stupid? Get out of my space. You fucking sweaty. Damn, I really pissed him off. I need to go back.
Rachel. Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Ooh, what the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <laughs> Thank you, baby girl. What the fuck now? You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh How do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. <coughs> the magic keys to Frank's RV kingdom. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking in? Fuck now. Ugh. She just told me that one of Rick. Really? Okay, so now I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna spill the drink on him. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna. I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. I need to do something else, apparently. He brought. Now back to Chloe. I thought I could spill it and make him. Oh! Oh, look, it's our friend. Are you <gasps> me? Oh, why is Earth. Max? Mm -hmm. You're welcome, baby girl. Whew. That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. I don't know why don't she's always me. getting splashed or I hit or something. Special. People are out for you her hairline. By saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person, my friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up, but you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Yeah, sure, girl. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Get 
the treat, treat boy. The meat is in the street. Oh no! Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. I just kill a dog. Oh please, please don't let that dog be hurt. Oh worse. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna hurt a dog. I'm sorry. The dog I did nothing, like it did legit nothing. Get the treat, treat boy! I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now I can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. <laughs> right? <laughs> You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy! Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. You scope the area while I zip. Not a nothing. Frank is almost a maid for TV. I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Of course Frank gets the munchies. Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <sighs> Recycle, dude. Nice rig. Glad Frank treats something here with respect. How can somebody live like this? That's a man for you. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Is Frank going to deal online now? No more secrets. It's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. At least the dog ain't dead. Be out here. It's taken days to download porn. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Hmm. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Ooh, Frank's stash. Maybe a knife? Might have to get a knife to pry it open. This is almost as good as a set of keys. Whoa, what the hell is he doing with that dog? <sighs> Stop it. My blade will open any portal. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Um, Frank, I hope you read this thing first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being monstrous bitch and I took it out on you. Um, poor Pomp, you do whatever that name is. Anyway, there's a lot of weird shit going on in my life. Sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia Bay. Thank God for you. You are one of the best things that I have here. And I smile when I think of us together. Let us, let's just drive out of here forever. I love you always. Rachel Amber. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Can I open that vent anymore, bitch? All right. Guess we can't. We can't open that vent anymore. 
It was available for us to open, but clearly not anymore. I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit, who hasn't? Fuck everybody. Chloe. Bitch. This is a long ass thing, man. This episode is much longer compared to the other Chloe, one. Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here, alive, with me, and that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me, and Rachel needs you. Oh my God, what is happening now? What is going on? Thank you. 
Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. Oh, this is that a was so cute. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. She was like, Give me the thumbs up girl. or thumbs oh. down. This is so well, sad. I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crates. I'm 18 years old French inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. Oui. I volunteer to break the eggs. Do you remember how many eggs? I love William like he was in my own family. I won't. Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And Joyce loves William so much. I am. When your mom is away. Mm. I'll let her know that. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Oh. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder. That's true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. I could call Joyce at the Two Whales Diner and warn her. If I had the num- I could call Joyce at the Two Whales Diner and warn her. If I had- Yes, here's the Two Whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Uh, hello. Hi, could I please talk to Joyce Price? Oh, she left? Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay, sorry. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Boom. Disconnected. seen those pictures before hey honey I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. Damn. we're all going to work at the two whales what oh I didn't know you had to get groceries of course I'll come pick you up now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha be there shortly love you <sighs> excuse me ladies I Uh, Mr. Price, in case you're thinking about using your car, I heard there's awful traffic and road construction, so you shouldn't drive at all. Max, you are the road warrior. I promise, if I have to go anywhere, I'll drive like I'm taking a test. Fair enough? Not really. I just know the roads are bad and stuff, so... so you... Since you're obviously my personal GPS, I feel safer already. So don't look so worried, Max. No. Listen, don't let your dad take his car today. I know it sounds weird, but please believe me. Something terrible is going to happen. You have to stop him from driving anywhere. Whatever, weirdo. What kind of thing is that to say about my dad? I'm not joking. Then you stop him, Supermax. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young.
Uh. Option is gone. As soon as the phone rings, the option is gone. Now I get to take a picture. I need to try and get a phone. How am I meant to do this, guys? Disconnected. Hey, honey. I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Whoa. It's all blurry here. Like I can't step out of the photographic bounds. don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> you are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Where's his keys? Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> you are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up after I leave. Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, hold your right now. Damn. She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. So what, I can't let him leave? Play nice. Try not to destroy too much of the house. And no Chloe and Max. How am I meant to do this? Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Hello? Fudge cakes! Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. Score! What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have My family never took fun, goofy photos like this. Delicious grub for us to feast you upon. are ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Oh, yeah. I miss movie nights here. Cookies and popcorn. This is so sad. You mean your college fund? Jeez, please. But then if you alter the path... Where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? And no Chloe and Max wine tape. Okay, so I need to get the thing out of his pocket now as well. Had 
to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! I knew this thing would come in handy. And no Chloe- Oh my god, this is frustrating. How do I do this? Of course I'll come pick Crap. I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. Boom. Disconnect. Hey, honey. I have no idea. Well, I can go to the garage. That'll be nice. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast. Well, I should hit, hit it in a plant pot. Going to work the two I know they never took that big vacation. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Actually, let me try. Hey, honey. I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fact. I hide it there because that is deeper. You can't hear it. You can't hear it there. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. All right. This is so bad. But then I swear Max can't me, alter ladies, the, the past. Because then it will affect the future. She don't have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> Where David Matter will never You're exist. Ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Max looks different with a head tied up. It's creepy. The plant pot, he shouldn't hear it there, because it's soil. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Damn! I knew this thing would come in. Okay, and I need no to... Chloe and Matt. Be grateful for that, son. It's breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Okay, the couch. I know for sure that little vase thing, that will still make it sound. Uh, I think the only other option is the drawer. Because the plant pot didn't work. You can stick it in the fire. <laughs> You are ridiculous. That's a cool snow dough. Someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Obvious, but it will have to do. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar. You're bankrupting me. <sighs> How does he? Okay, nope. where else? The only place that you can. Trees. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. 
Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. <laughs> you are ridiculous. You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. Up you in the fridge. College fund. Oh my god. I could put it in a sink. I think that would do. It would stop it from beeping. Shit, please tell me he's gonna find it. Please don't tell me. Another dollar for the swear jar. Please don't tell me he's gonna find You're it. You're bankrupting me. Please tell me. Damn. Hey, honey. I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring. Did it work? I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and joys and groceries and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <gasps> it worked. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends in LA told me that Oregon was Max. Be wet and cold every day. But Never like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so long. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max it's high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. Warren, he hooked up with Stella? Damn. Oh no, this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Obviously there'll be music playing in this, but turn the music off. What's happening? This is so weird, y'all.
What? All the whales have beached themselves. <gasps> oh God. Does that mean that Rachel Amber is still alive? Why is there no sound effects? What's going on? Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Should we laugh at? I'm just so shocked. What happened? What happened? How did Chloe get in a wheelchair? What? I am shook as hairline snatched, bold. I'm dead. Like, all right. Damn, y'all. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, that's the end of that. Wow. I'm shook. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's getting even more stranger and I'm just life is sh for sure is strange i'm shook all right <laughs> if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here it really does mean a lot and i will see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye